Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. This evening we bear witness to the greatest fixture in European club football. A time for grandeur, glamour, glory. It is the Champions League final. And so the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. And we're on the way. As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. And it's Di Maria. Oh, good interception. Sergio Busquets, Coutinho, Jordi Alba with the ball through, and it's a corner. Massive leap! Goal! We have liftoff at the final! Wonderful timing, wonderful player, the perfect start! Oh, what an opening, an absolutely fantastic opening to this final, and we shouldn't be surprised that it's a player with a terrific track record too. Come at the hour, come at the man, I think we've got liftoff. Great corner, and he did the rest. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Barcelona take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Sergio Busquets. And it's Luis Suarez, hit long and direct. Be a throw in. Has a quick glance. Not a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Meunier tries to get it forward quickly. Loose ball, who's going to get there? 
Now it's Luis Suarez. He's gone for it! He's got away with one there. Daniel Alves. Kimpembe plays it forward. Now it's Di Maria. Paris Saint-Germain have a free kick. Looks like a good ball through. Out to the left it goes. Jordi Alba. Coutinho going through. Luis Suarez. Yep, it's a corner. Very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Di Maria absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Danny Alves, this is promising. That's been into Danny Alves is fouled. behind I think he deserves credit for for getting something away given that he had to contend with a, a double dose of closing down now the pass Coutinho he's got away whipped in oh, and the shot can he put it away and he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Mbappe. Di Maria clips one through, right through the middle. That's been lever clear. Rakitic. Rakitic! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Racket shot a goal. Pushes it out wide. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Keeper's got good distance on that. Well played, he saw that coming. Chance to break. Keeper and try something new. Ter Stegen gets it upfield. And now they can launch a counter. He's left his man. Neymar, he's onside. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. It's Roberto. Bernat is going to run down the left wing. Passes it through. Pique gets it back. Aimed long and direct. It's come loose. Oh. 
Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. So there you have it, a close-fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. So we've had the first 45 minutes of the final, Jim. How's it looking for you? First things first now, and they must give themselves a platform to help generate some momentum if they're going to find a route back. So we're just settling back into this second half. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for Fortune favouring the Brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk-taking to get this match turned around. It's very doable. Great leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. He simply mistimed the header, and it was as if he knew it wasn't going to work out. Bernat. No, no way through there. Sergio Busquets. And it's Messi. Roberto into the channel. Messi looking to get on the end of this. Cut out in the nick of time. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Busquets goes looking, looking to break out here. Luis Suarez tries a through ball. He could be in here. Barcelona really are defending from the front. They are, and this type of pressing is a, a case of counter-attacking a counter-attack. It's high octane and high pressure, high fitness. Keeper goes long. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Done very well to intervene. And it's Coutinho. Looks to slip it through. Coutinho passes it through. Has a pop! Great low ball in. Oh, how has that not ended up in the back of the net? It was a cracking ball in the way he drilled it across and kept it down too. Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Yeah, but the two that closed them down merit the praise of a, a job well done. It so nearly came off for him. Suarez very nearly making something happen there. You can't keep a good man down. He's the shot's on! Saint-Germain are back on level terms. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Out wide to the right. Looks like a good ball through. Neat exchange. Messi's cross. Can he finish? The slide tackle there. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Beautifully executed. Forward it goes. Now it's Di Maria. Now it's Neymar, going through. It's Neymar! Goal, Paris Saint-Germain! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that, you just have to appreciate it. 
Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. He's made it to... Paris Saint-Germain go into the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Over to the left. Coutinho. It's a throw in. There's going to be another change here. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. It's Luis Suarez! Barcelona are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Whistle goes, he's been given offside. Attempts to play it through. In it comes, has a swing at it! And the lead stays intact, just. Well, the level of urgency is shot up, and, and that's promising now to maintain it. Went in for a slide tackle and executed it cleanly. Let's put a stop to that. Now it's Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez. Uh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Coutinho. He's gone for it! It's in! Right back in it! Almost no time remaining! Game still on! Perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here, because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence, and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. This is quite a battle. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Vidal is the guilty party there. Marco Verratti. And it's Neymar. What an adventurous run from a defender. Knocks it away. Gets into some space. Looking to shoot! And you can't but admire that from a player from whom we expect to come to the fore at crucial, crucial moments. Doing it, however, is another matter, and his influence just grows and grows. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Paris Saint-Germain take the lead, now it's just a question of holding on. Just listen, Peter, you can hear the excitement levels around the stadium now. The feeling is very much job done. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Now it's Luis Suarez. Kim Pem there is the final whistle. Paris Saint-Germain have done it. It is party time as they gather to get their hands on the trophy. What a moment this is for all connected. It is a day for pride, a day of glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.